Why are we so eager to have what the world has? Because we're eager to have what the world has, oftentimes the world is not eager to have what we have. They say to us, see, we have it better than you do. You want what we have. It's amazing. You find this conformity, this church that's conforming to the world. Of course the world's not going to conform to the church because we're doing the molding. The world is passing away. And I'm so thankful I know my Savior, aren't you? What does it really have to offer us? Sadness? Levels of sorrow, regret, shame, hate, anger, covetousness? But God has everything to offer us. Love and hope and happiness and joy, contentment, and peace. Such a stark contrast. And yet, the world is so powerfully influencing us to turn to it. It's a huge adversary. I mean, we know the devil is the adversary. And as a roaring lion, he walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And you know what he's using? He's using the world to get to us. He's using the world to turn the head of the Christian towards ungodly things. We have to be careful of that. We want to walk in the light as he is in the light. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world.